I'm gonna show you a kind of a peekaboo kind of a nail. So we're gonna actually see the design from the top and then also from the bottom. I've done a couple of nails already. I've sculpted out the free edge with a little bit of our speed clear. And on the first nail, I'm gonna do a mix of our liquid art. Okay, and then I'm gonna come in with maybe a little bit of our blue. Give us a little bit more of kind of a, a red violet kind of a color. So I'm gonna make a little heart right on our free edge. And I'm gonna use my liquid art and my clear, my speed clear. And we're gonna build this up right onto that free edge. I'm gonna pick up a pearl. I'm gonna drain out just a little bit of that extra liquid because I don't want this product to flow on the nail. I'm gonna drop that right down in the center, kind of wipe out my brush a little bit, and then I'm gonna press that pearl into the shape of my heart. Just kind of pulling that down to the point and then pressing up those little corners. And then I'm gonna roll my brush back to a point and then I'm gonna come back in and just press in that center area. I'm gonna bring my brush a little bit more perpendicular, a little more straight up and down, so I get a really good kind of an edge to that, to that center. And I'm gonna actually try to make this a little bit more flat so it's not rounded on those edges. So this way, when I cap this in our color, I'm gonna get a really good crisp definition of my heart by keeping it nice and flat all the way across the surface, you're gonna give that really good definition. Now, if you have a low spot, I'm gonna build this area up just a little bit more so I've got a little bit more thickness that when I do my filing, it's not gonna file out my design. So now I think I've got that whole surface about even, nice and crisp around the edges. Now at this point, I wanna wait and let this set before I actually encase it. Um, so I'm gonna go on to my next nail and show you same kind of technique, but just with some more glitters. So we're gonna put our liquid art aside. I'm gonna still keep my speed clear, but then I've got a glitter mixture here that I've used Belly Crawl, Fuchsia, and Love My Life. So I've combined all three of those with a little bit of our speed clear acrylic. So I'm gonna go with some fresh clean monomer. So we're not using our liquid art anymore. And I'm gonna pick up a pearl of our glitter. And again, I'm gonna drain that out a little bit onto my table towel. Just like we did before, I'm gonna drop that pearl down and then I'm gonna to start to pull to the point of my heart. Okay, and then I'm gonna just start to press up into those corners, kind of round it out a little bit and just start to bring those corners up. Again, just like we did with our liquid art. I'm gonna roll my brush back to a point Come in, press down that little indent, and form our heart. All right, now the difference between using glitter and using just our liquid art, if we were to file over the surface of our glitter, you can actually file your glitter off or you can file the colored coating of your glitter off, and then you just end up with some silver areas because that's what's underneath that colored coating. So what we wanna do with this, I don't wanna just add more of my glitter to it, I'm gonna come back in with a little bit of our speed clear, and I'm gonna just kind of cap the heart with the clear. And I'm just gonna bring that right over the surface. So this is gonna encase our glitter heart. Now, on our first one, I didn't add any glitter, so I love glitter, so I always have to have something kind of sparkly in there. So I'm gonna cap the whole nail with our Cover Blush. Now, Cover Blush is a really fun, kind of a soft pink, but it's got that shimmer to it. So it's gonna add our glitter, but it's not gonna be overwhelming glitter. And I have that nail angled straight down so that my product flows right down the nail. And then once it stops moving, I'm just gonna lift up on that nail and just kind of feather through it. Now, anything that gets over that heart is gonna file off. Don't worry about it, it's not a big deal. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna fill in from the free edge up to that heart. So this way we're gonna cap all the way around that heart and still build the structure of our nail. And again, at this point, your clients are probably gonna look at you like, what the heck are you doing? I wanted hearts on my nail and now you're covering them up, but that's okay. Cause we're gonna file everything and that heart is gonna show right through. So let's go on to our next nail. So on this one, I've already got my glitter. 
So I want kind of that contrast again of the glitter and then a solid. So on this one, I'm gonna use our cover pink. Okay, you guys, I am gonna go ahead and file these nails out so that you can see our design pop through. And then we're gonna do some finished design work over the top. So I'm just gonna do some dots around the outside of the heart. I'm gonna use our Mission Control Fizz, but what I like to do is I'll alternate from one side to the other. So this way I have really even placement of my dots. So this way you're gonna keep your application nice and even. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just freeze that into our light for 10 to 30 seconds and then we can move on to the next nail. Now on this one, I'm gonna give it just a little bit more detail with our liner brush. Using very little pressure at all. It's tricky trying to do curves, I find anyways. And so if I can kind of avoid having to curve my brush, by coming from a different angle, that's what I like to do. Now, something that you kind of want to keep in mind is when you're looking really, really close at things like this, when you're doing your detail work, things tend to look not so perfect. Take a step back, look at it from just a little bit farther away, and you'll notice that everything does look right. So don't stress, don't get anxiety about your lines. If they're not 100% perfect, they look good from, you know, not right up close, okay? So don't worry about it, don't stress too much about it. Okay, we'll go ahead and freeze that in the light again for another 10 to 30 seconds, just depending on how long it takes you to do the other hand. And I'm gonna just, again, accent this with some little tiny dots right around that line that we put in. This is gonna look a little bit more like lace. So if you kind of want that lacy edge, we can do that. So again, kind of alternating sides, coming all the way around. All right, so we'll go ahead and freeze that one into place as well. Okay, so we've set our design into place. I'm just gonna come back with my ultimate finish top coat and we'll give these a quick coat of top coat and we'll cure them out. Now, when you're working on designs like this where you can see it from the top and the bottom, what I like to do is I'll turn the hand over and I'll come back through with my top coat and I'll give it a little top coat underneath. So this way, it's really gonna accent that design underneath, give it a whole lot more shine so that you can see that really sparkly or that really clear um, liquid art underneath. So hopefully you guys will have some fun with these designs and your Valentine's nails. Subscribe to the channel now. Subscribe to the channel.